welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin and I'm running for the king as usual. I'm here in the shed in my backyard and I'm gonna pull some orders. I do have to jump back to Tuesday though. That's where we're gonna start the video and my weeks go from Tuesday to Monday, which I know is weird, but that's how eBay payouts work. So that's how my videos work. So we're gonna do that. Let's jump back to Tuesday, work our way back to today. I'll see you then. Hey everybody, today is Tuesday. It is the 1st of October. I have a few orders for us, but since it's the 1st of October, we're gonna start a tradition for this month. This is the spookiest tricks and treats joke book ever. And there's terrible jokes in here. And well, I pulled this out of a mystery box several months ago. It's been sitting and waiting for, for that long. And so I'm gonna read you a joke every day. Let's find a good one. And here's today's joke. How did the ghost learn to play the piano? By using sheet music. Yeah. I know, I didn't write them. I'm just reading them to you. Three items. The first one's a shirt. I sold it on Poshmark, actually, of all things. It's right down here. And this one's in box C2. And it's actually this big, thick shirt here. We pulled it out of the Goodwill bins. Actually, my daughter did. And it is a ladies Denver Broncos quarter zip, like sweater-like shirt. It's pretty nice. It's not a big brand. It's just like the NFL team brand, but it sold $15 plus shipping. Next up is a cookbook, but we're gonna stick with the sports theme. I sold this before. I found it at another yard sale recently. This one's dated 1985, and it's presented by the St. Louis Baseball Cardinals Wives. And it's got some, uh, uh, obviously it's got recipes in it, but it also has uh, little blurbs from each of the players and their families and such. So it's kind of a cool little book. This one sold on offer this morning, $12 plus shipping. And then the last and best sale I have for today is something I picked up at a yard sale two Saturdays ago, and it's in this pink tub. And I sold those filters uh, in my last video, I think, for like 80 or 90 bucks. And this is the charging cord for the, uh, well, for the battery that goes to the blower unit that use, that those filters go in. And it's just, you know, your standard AC plug, except this is the end that plugs into the battery. And so it's not a standard plug. And so, well, I was the only one on eBay. I got several offers. I didn't take any of them. It sold for full asking price. And it sold for $49.99 plus shipping. So we add that to the 90 on the filters. So what's that? That's $140 so far. I paid 20 for the box. And I have two more listings I've already listed out of that box that it will eventually sell. And that's all I have so far. In fact, yesterday I sold zero on everything. These three items that sold, uh, sold this morning. I'm just happy to be able to start a video today and not have to wait till tomorrow. And uh, decent sales. So I'm happy with $15 for that shirt. I paid nothing for it. And that plug, excellent. Just want to say thank you so much for hanging out there with me today. I will hopefully have more sales to show you tomorrow. I'll see you then. Hey everybody, today is Wednesday. It is the 2nd of October, which means, well, I have a joke for you. Let me throw you on the wall. And here's the joke of the day. What kind of rope is the most scared? Afraid one. Yeah, that was especially bad. I have four orders, three on eBay and one on Macari, actually. The first is a Blu-ray. It's right here. It's uh, the Empress and the Warriors and... I'm sure I picked it up for less than a dollar. It sold $4.99 plus shipping. I also have an item I picked up on retail arbitrage at Walmart in the clearance aisle. And uh, they're right here. Uh, these are two three packs of DVD RAM discs and they're in cartridges, I guess. I don't know anything about these, but they were a buck a piece. So I picked them up and they sold really quick in about two days, $12.99 plus shipping. And uh, that's not a lot, but for retail arbitrage, it's not too bad. The last one I have on eBay is a book lot. It's already pre-boxed, it's up there. And this one is a Beverly Lewis book lot. And I think there are eight trade paperbacks in there. Nope, there are 10 trade paperbacks in there. Picked them up at my hometown thrift. So I'm less than a dollar into that box. It sold on offer this morning, $13 plus shipping. It's easy math to do in your head today. We have four orders, three are done, one left. It's the Macari order. It's an article of clothing. I'm gonna grab it. It's finally one of these Nike athlete shirts. I think I showed you a couple videos ago. I picked them up at Goodwill for a dollar. They were, I thought they were all the same, but there was actually three men's shirts and seven women's shirts. This is one of the women's shirts. I do believe they are new without tags, but I sold them as used in great condition. And uh, I think I put it in the text. It looks like they've never been worn, but this is the ladies version. It's size large. Listed them all at $10 a piece. And this one sold on offer $7.50 plus shipping. 
Not a big sale, but almost pays for the whole lot. So uh, that's not too bad there. Hopefully we'll get some more that go out soon. And that's all I have going out. Did the joke, did my four orders. I'm gonna pack these up. I got some things to photograph. Then I gotta get back to work. Whoa, don't move on till tomorrow just yet. I have one more order. My work day's done. I'm getting ready to go to the post office, but this other order came in. It's gonna be easy. Let's grab it. And it's actually back here behind these romance books. It's a lot of two books. We have How Lindsay's Satan is Alive and Well on Planet Earth, and I have Life After Life by Raymond Moody. And I lotted these together. They're not really the exact same topic, but they were close enough, and these sold $5.99 plus shipping, and I probably have like 10 cents into that stack. Okay, we're done for real now. I will see you on Thursday. Hey everyone, today is Thursday. I do have three orders for you. Oh, it's the 3rd of October. Three orders on the 3rd. It's Thursday. I have orders. We're happy. And I have one bad joke. The first one is, or not the first bad joke. The first item I have that's going out today is a CD. All right. It is one of these Best of Sammy Smith CDs. And there it is. I uh, picked this up, I think, in the big buy. Yes, the big buy. And it sold for $11.04. Is that right? Yes, $11.04 plus shipping. Now, Dynapal had said a couple videos ago that it wouldn't be a video unless I said the big CD buy. And since they jinxed me, I haven't had a sale until today. So uh, it's all right, no worries, we got one. It sold, it was more than 10 bucks for a CD, which is good. And I have two more of those. So hopefully you'll see the other two go out. It's time for a joke, let me find one. And here's the joke for the day. It says, what did the mummy maker say when she finished making the mummy? Okay, that's a wrap. Hey, that's not a wrap. Hang on, I got more things to show you. Anyway, it's another CD. It's another CD from the big buy. Hey, two today. So the Jinx is definitely broke. It's in drawer 11. Let's go over there. And this one is gonna be right here. It is Romero Lumbambo. And uh, this one's not from the big buy. This one I think I picked up at Goodwill. Anyway, this one sold $7.19 plus shipping. So two CDs regardless, even if they're not from the big buy, and the last item I have will keep you on the wall for, it's a Pokemon card. Well, let me dig it out. I haven't sold one in a while, but this is one I recently pulled. It is a, a Bronzong gold card and a hyper rare or something, secret rare. This sold for $6 plus the standard envelope shipping. So that's really not bad for a uh, modern Pokemon card. Those three items, well, those three items won't take a lot of uh, packing time. And uh, hopefully I can get some things listed. I got to eat still because I usually eat before I take my lunch uh, or at least my, you know, I film on lunch and I haven't got to. So I got to go do that. Well, folks, I got those three orders packed up. My workday is now done. I'm getting ready to head to the post office, but I had one more order come in. It's going to be an easy one to ship out. So let's grab that too. And they are right here on the side. These are Hanes Classics and they're from 2005, so they're almost vintage. I think I put vintage maybe in the listing, I don't remember, but uh, they are uh, size 36, and that's, I, I don't know. I don't know anything else about them. They're briefs. I picked them up at a yard sale. I think I paid $1.50 for them. They sold on offer today for $18 plus shipping, so not bad for some briefs. Just like that terrible joke, today is a wrap. That's gonna be it for Thursday. Hopefully we'll get some more sales in so I can see you tomorrow. Well, I'll bring a joke either way. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey folks, today is Friday. It's the 4th of October. I have four items going out, plus a joke for you. We're gonna get rolling. The first thing is a Pokemon card. Let me grab it. This one is P79 at least, uh, and I just sold a P79 uh, and I refilled it. So this is a Lacey card. It's from the latest set. And I pulled it yesterday, listed it yesterday, sold it yesterday, and it sold for $3 plus shipping. So nothing huge, but super easy and quick. And it sold fast, so you can't beat that. While I have you on the wall, let's find a joke. All right, I found one. It says, did you hear about the Ghoul's new daytime talk show? Yeah, it's called Phantom of the Oprah. Yeah, terrible, but that's why I love them. I have a Barbie accessory that's going out. It's in this box. I'm gonna have to dig for it. And it's this little piece of what looks like roadkill. I bought some Barbie accessories and things, and you've seen some sold if you've been with me for a little bit. I bought them at a yard sale earlier in uh, the season, in yard sale season around here. And this was in there, and it's, it looks like a ran over cat. Um, I thought it was gonna be something I chucked, but it did have a tag in there that said Mattel. And so 
I looked it up. I tried to find it. It's from 1986. It is a cat finger puppet um, and is from the Barbie Pet Show Fashions. No clue. But it had a little bit of value, so I kept it. And the threshold's pretty low for me. This sold for $6.99 plus shipping. My last sale, I know I said had four, but I only have three sales, but four items. My last, uh, well, my last two items, my last sale is to a viewer. So thank you so much. Let me grab them. It's two video games and we'll talk about it. So this is a viewer sale. So thank you so much, Jesus. Uh, he got Spider-Man Friend or Foe for the PS2. And uh, well, it's Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts and Viva Pinata. I liked both these games back in the day. And uh, they were they were good. They were better than, uh, I think, what people paid for them. Or they were better than what they sold. I don't think the sales were super great on these. This is the pack-in version. It's got two discs in here, but one case. And so both those are going out. They sold for $18.98 plus shipping. The buyer did reach out and asked about combining shipping. Of course, I'm going to do that. I'll refund you back, Jesus, as soon as I get this shipped, if you paid any overage. And I'm going to get you a sticker as well. So I wasn't sure. Uh, he asked about a sticker. If you buy something from me and you're a viewer, just let me know you're a viewer. I'll make sure I stick a sticker in there for sure. Wasn't sure which one you wanted. There's this one and this one. And obviously, I'm going to ship it before you see this video. So I'm just going to throw both in there. So thank you so much uh, for your purchase. Those items all sold on eBay, nothing on Macari of Poshmark, and uh, that's going to be it for right now. It is Friday, though, so if anything sells this afternoon before I head to the post office, I'm going to get it shipped out so it doesn't sit here all weekend. Uh, there are some sales going on. I know there's an estate sale just out of town uh, from here, and I'm going to try to hit that right after work. And then there's a citywide, small city, uh, townwide maybe, uh, on, on Saturday tomorrow. Uh, but I also have things that I can do at the church, so I'm not sure what's going to go on there. Uh, I may try to do both. And then next week, from Thursday to Sunday, is the big River to River sale in Illinois. And it goes from uh, one side of Illinois in southern Illinois all the way to the other side, so from River to River. And I know that the, the race course is 80 miles. It's a little bit longer than that, so it's probably closer to 90 miles of yard sales. There's a lot of empty space in between, so it's not continuous, but... Um, I may take off half days for work for that and yard sale in the morning, then come back and work. And it's terrible when I do that, but it's once a year. So we will see. I think that's going to be it for now, though. I'll see you on Monday. Hey, everybody. Today is Monday. It's the 7th of October, and I have a few sales over the weekend. I did go yard selling on Saturday, which means my shed is messier than normal. So just don't pay attention to that. Uh, so we do have I think seven orders on eBay, one on Macari, so eight total, plus a joke. And we'll grab that Macari one first, just to get Macari out of the way. It is a book set, and it's right here in this box behind me. And it's not a very big sale at all, but they sold, I have nothing into these. There are two, like, kids craft books, Eco Art and Green Thumbs. And I picked these up at my hometown thrift, where books are up to 25 for a dollar. And I know I picked these up in a pile with other books that have already sold. So really there's zero into it, but if you want to do the math correctly, there's probably five to 10 cents in that pile of those two books. And they sold for $4.49 plus shipping on Macari. Uh, not great, but at least on Macari, I'll get 100% of that $4.49. And so that's a plus, right? It is time for today's joke out of the spookiest tricks and treats joke book. And it is, who do jack-o'-lanterns date? Jill O'Lanterns, obviously. Yeah, womp womp, I know. Not a great joke. Anyway, let's go pull some more orders. And as usual, there's lots of media. Uh, I like media, so that's not a big deal at all. First one's a uh, graphic novel. It is for Nighthawk. And I have a bunch of these. I picked them up at Cincinnati during the reseller rally. This sold for $4.99 plus shipping. I have a book that I got free at a yard sale a couple weekends ago, and I'm looking to see where I stuck it. I know... It's in that same box we were just in, I think. Ooh, not the same box, the one underneath it. It's right here, and I don't want to tear it up. It is Hungry Planet, What the World Eats, and it is a big picture uh, book. Lots of cool information in there. I didn't know if it was worth anything when I picked it up. It was in the free pile, but it looked interesting, so I grabbed it. It sold $12.99 plus shipping. I have a cookbook going out as well. This is one I picked up at that private pick, and it is a pop culture cookbook. And it's right down here on my shelf. It's the It's a Wonderful Life cookbook. 
and I picked up a couple other of these pop culture books. This one was not as valuable as the others, but it sold $4.99 plus shipping. I do have a CD going out, and I want to show you something first. I have this skeleton that's here behind me by my Lego case. There's some pumpkins there, too. Uh, but I have another skeleton that was right up here. Unfortunately, uh, he kind of died. The heat hits this corner of the building. I can't keep anything up with tape. So I think I'm just going to retire that one for the year and uh, just leave the one back over there. Anyway, it's a CD. It's in drawer seven. And he's not really blocking drawer seven at all. Let's see if I can get the drawer open. There it is. It's right here. It is uh, 44 Wacky Hits, Marzy Dotes. And these are just like goofy songs. This one sold for $7.99 plus shipping. And both the CD and the cookbook came out of that, uh, that private pick. Got some Barbie accessories. Let's see, Barbie accessories right over here. There are these Barbie uh, wind-up accessories right here. There's like a tape player. There is a VHS like camcorder and a microwave. One works, one kind of works, and one doesn't really work. It was all notated in the listing. Pick them up with that, uh, that finger puppet we sold just the other day. And these sold full asking price. No, these sold on offer $11.69 plus shipping. I have a video game going out and it's one, it's not really disc only, but it's not, there's no case. It's a, uh, it's right here. It is bully and it has the map. So I picked it up at a yard sale, but the case was actually, the case was covered in cologne or something. It smelled like a really over cologne 13 year old boy. And so <laughs> I dumped the case. The manual was just a little weird too. And so I got rid of the manual but the map and the disc were in good shape. So I listed them together and they sold. These sold for $11.99 plus shipping. And that's about a $10 profit even without the case. And if you're doing the math in your head, it's easy math today. Uh, eight minus seven, we have one left. And well, it's one of those tie clips. Let me grab it. And it's right here in this cigar box. I'm gonna set it right here so I can get it open. And I think we're gonna pick this one. And if you haven't seen them, it's a little home light chainsaw tie clip. And I got these at a, well, it was like an estate sale, like semi-private estate sale. And I bought a whole box. That cigar box was completely full and I've sold them really, well, not super fast, but you know, regu regularly, I guess. This one sold on offer $8 plus shipping and I have seven left, it looks like. So not bad. And that is gonna be all the orders I have going out so far. I got a box from eBay. Uh, from eBay itself. I won a swag box from uh, eBay open that was just a couple of weeks ago and I opened it and I haven't looked in there yet. So let's see what's in there. We got some tissue paper, but I think that's just packing. Uh, there is a eBay thank you note. I might actually reuse that. Uh, let's see. We have, I knew there was a tote bag that was going to be in there, but it's just like a tote bag, tote bag. It's pretty thin, but that's pretty cool. Uh, international shipping is what it says on it. Ooh, there's a box. It's a box. Let's see what's in there. Okay, it is a eBay international shipping uh, scale. Let me uh, get out of the box here. It's right here. That's kind of cool. Should I keep it? Should I sell it? Does pe would people actually want it? Does it actually work very well? I don't know. Let's see. I have an eBay open like lapel pin. Ooh, what's this? Oh, dude, it is a sweatshirt. And uh, let's see, it's it just got the color squares there and it says eBay open 2024 on it. Okay, so you're gonna see me rocking this sweatshirt in the shed uh, after it gets colder, not today. Let's see what else we have. I don't even know what this is. I think it's chapstick. It looks like a chapstick tube. It's got an expiration date. Um, could be something else, but I don't know. And then the last thing, I know it's going long. Hey, it's an eBay, uh, it's an eBay open or eBay international shipping ring light. And I guess you're supposed to you put it on your camera for when you're taking selfies or something. And uh, I can't get it to turn off. It's off. There we go. Hey, so that's that's the price pack. That's not bad at all. I think they gave away 3,000 of them. I uh, Well, obviously I won one. I know my buddy Side Hustle Preacher got one too. So I wonder if he got the same thing. I'll have to reach out to him. We were chatting and I said, ooh, I wish we could get shirts. And I got a shirt, so that's pretty awesome. Okay, uh, that's uh, enough of that. I have stuff to list. I also have stuff to pack. Wish the, the listing pile was smaller and the packing pile was bigger, 
but that's the way it goes. I do appreciate hanging out there with me this week. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and you made it this far, I'd appreciate your subscription. And uh, well, we always like to end our video saying, I hope you have a great day. God bless.